a new option has been added to the facing cycle to recognize the in-process stock and create toolpath optimized for that shape. When using this parameter, the user interface has been simplified by determining tool overhang and lead in and lead out automatically. Additionally, starting depth, retract plane, and incremental depth modes are calculated automatically based upon the stock height. Let's see an example. For this part, we want to face the top based on the stock shape. We can simply pick the top face, create an auto chain, and apply an operation. We can see in that operation that stock automation is set to yes. The overhang direction and amount are determined automatically from the specified step over. The incremental depth and retraction, as well as the starting depth, are all calculated automatically. The lead in and lead out are automatically applied to maintain three millimeters or one hundred thousandths of an inch away from the part. Notice this initial incremental passes are optimized for material removal and cycle time, while the last path applies the lead out for surface quality. Stock automation makes creating features for facing much easier. Here we can apply operations even when there is a gap in the part geometry. Let's pick this top face and create an auto chain, which will determine the tool orientation and reference Z level, then apply the operation. Now, let's pick the faces on the sides of the part and create an auto chain. Apply the last operation. We have selected the optimal cutting angle. The optimal cutting angle will be re-evaluated for each incremental depth. 